Hello there, it's WeD, the documentarian, for another video. I am reaching out for something that isn't a funny video. I am working on a special project that is focused around the genre of speculative evolution, something I've always been interested in. This project is focused on a world that I call Sualuda, though it goes by two names, either the planet of the dragon or the planet of golden life. This planet attempts to mimic a southeastern Asian environment with thick rainforests, massive floodplains, numerous rivers and creeks, and a massive set of sea lakes, I call them, which are essentially massive lakes acting as oceans on this freshwater world. It has a consistent range of 25 to 35 degrees Celsius for its temperature and has a very humid climate, having storms quite often. In the environment are a variety of fauna throughout Southeast Asia, including the Asian Water Monitor, which will get some amount of focus throughout this project. There are others that will flash through the screen. All of these species are important in their own right, making sure the environment has strong niches and has a chance at actually surviving. Of course, many of them may have never encountered each other before, and that is where they will compete. The species mentioned or showed are the major hitters, while others like a variety of insects, inverts, and other similar fauna won't be mentioned much. This video will mainly focus on one time period in Sualuda, the pass or post-animal seeding. Here are just a few of the species' interactions with the world during this time. The small Indian civet, due to competition with a few other predators, is falling upon its herbivory more and more, feeding on fruits and certain flowers. With this, it's becoming more of a true omnivore. In return, it will feed on small mammals, hatchling turtles, small lizards, frogs, and the occasional small fish. Java mouse deer will have to adapt to some things, such as new predators, but due to a general lack of their normal predators, they will have more time and ability to survive. The Philippine tarsier has a ton of insects, but also small animals to feed on. This small species is likely the most intelligent on this planet, or at least tied to that. Civets and monitor lizards are their biggest threats, yet they're small enough to avoid detection most often. The Sunda flying lemur the only creature which can take to the skies for brief periods, is having quite a comfortable time avoiding predators. The small Indian civet is its main predators. The Asian water monitor is having quite a comfortable existence. It is actually thriving in this environment due to the variety of prey that it is able to hunt, making it quite a common sight. The Chinese water dragon is in competition with the Asian water monitor. Despite this competition, it usually hunts smaller prey, like small fish, frogs, insects, other small reptiles, sea, and eggs. While the Asian water monitor tackles other and bigger prey, such as large fish, large mammals, and may even eat the rare spear-tooth shark if it gets the chance. Speaking of which, the spear-tooth shark is a rare species to encounter on Sualdua. It feeds on anything that enters the water and is so rare to the point you may never see one. The king quail feeds on insects and seeds. You'll see a few flocks of this species in the grasslands. Due to the plenty of predators they have to encounter, the rainforest is off limits for this small bird. Many other species are existing and changing to adapt to this environment as well. And if you all are interested, you could make up your own thoughts about where that may lead them. The next time period isn't too different, but is where things will begin to change. I proclaim it as the Permulocene, named after the Malay word of Permalayan, which means beginning. I will hint just one of the species, the Sualudan monitor lizard, or Varanus salvator terrestre. This species feeds on a variety of prey such as small mammals, reptiles, birds, and other carrion. While less aquatic, they will feed on fish and amphibians when they get the chance. 
this species is cannibalistic to its conspecific relatives and is likely one of the reasons the two subspecies went to the trees and water specifically. It is 2.5 ivory toys, 2.5 meters long, while weighing 71, fawn, fawn, and fawn, to one pounds on average. The Suwaludan monitor can move at 20 miles per hour in short bursts due to its more strengthened legs. The Suwaludan monitor lizard lives on the ground, usually more common in the grasslands. As seen in the image, they can erect their legs for brief periods, often doing this in fights against each other for intimidation. With that, the first tour, Suwaluda, ends, and I hope that you enjoyed. I will likely post an update on this project and the Permula scene in the future. But until then, I'll see you later.